do you remember when we talked about the universe coming to be and then earth coming to be and then life coming on earth life that could eat and grow and make more of itself and then after many new animals and plants came onto the earth the human being came at the very end do you wonder how long that took for the human being to come well it's all right here in this long black line and now we're going to hear the story of the long black line we began at a time when the earth began to cool down. Do you remember the story about the earth cooling? It cooled and cooled, and this cooling took a very long time. When the earth cooled, then the crust appeared with its wrinkles and hollows. It rained and rained, and water filled the hollows, flowing downward and sideways. Remember that the ocean and seas got full of salts that had washed down from the land. Then, when the time was right, that tiny drop of life came to being, and it was this life that helped purify the water. And time went on. All kinds of life was eating, growing, and making others like itself. And time went on and on and on. And at the end of this time, there was a great amount of life in the sea. Sponges, mollusks, trilobites, and cephalopods, even plants now. Then came the fish and the amphibians. Small mammals and birds were now on the earth. They were able to live in colder parts. Some of them grew to large mammals because they had plenty to eat, like the woolly mammoth, the saber-toothed tiger, and the whales. And still no humans. Time went on. Now, the human being has finally come. The human being has only been on the earth for this short amount of time compared to all the time that had already existed. This white line is the existence of humans. It took a long time for the earth to be ready for human beings just like you and me. It was a long, long time ago.